Hey, what is going on everybody? BD Cool 213 here, and today I'm gonna to be checking out the Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo Switch Online app. So here we go. So you have uh, version 6.0 of the uh, Switch firmware just came out, and now we have to pay to play online. <laughs> but I mean, you know, it's not for every game. I guess some games are still you don't need that service to play online, like Fortnite. I'm not sure if there's any other ones, but that's the only one that I know of. But uh, yeah, along with the service, we get the ability to play NES games. Uh, and some of them we can play online, I guess, as well. Now, um, yeah, actually, I, I thought originally that we were going to, like, download each game individually, but apparently it's all in this app here, and I guess all the games are included with the download, because it doesn't seem... I already played a little bit of this, and it doesn't seem like there's no... Like, it doesn't take a while to, like, start up. Like, I thought it was going to be, like, streaming, you know, like Netflix. Because this reminds me of Netflix. I mean, just like this. Pick through the games and, you know, just scroll and select whatever game you want to play. Yeah. But, uh, no, I guess it's all downloaded into the app itself. And they're going to be adding more games as, you know, time goes along here. But let's see. Before we start a game, let's check out the options that we got here on the left. So, we got one player. We got two players in order to activate the, uh, you know, second controller if you want to play a two-player game. Uh, we got play online right here. And then this one right here, it says you can play multiplayer games online with a friend. So, you can't play with randoms. Uh, you can play single player while waiting for a friend to join you. You can communicate using voice chat if you have the Nintendo Switch Online app for your smartphone. But I don't. Okay, so there's that. And yeah, I'll be checking that out in a bit here. And then let's check out the settings here. And the only thing that we have for settings is just changing the aspect ratio. So 4x3, pixel perfect, and CRT filters. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at uh, pixel perfect for right now here. Alright, so let's check out a game here. Let's go with, um, let me see... Yeah, we got about 20 games here, it looks like. Yeah, 20 games. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll go with... Let's go with Mario 3. Oh, actually, really quick, let me go back. I forgot to show you guys something here. So, yeah, we got, uh, we got a couple of options at the bottom. To select the game, to move the game, so you can, you know, organize this the way you want. Like, if let's say if you don't want... If there's some games that you don't like, you want to put them all the way at the bottom, you can do that. And you can also select details... Unfortunately, I thought this was going to be, like, the manual. You know, it would have been cool if they... Oh, I just noticed the playtime. I was like, wait, that wasn't there before. Yeah, because I played a little bit of this. Yeah, I never saw that before. But, uh, yeah, I was, I was hoping that this would have been the NES manual, you know? The the original manual. I wish it would have done that. That would have been cool. But, yeah, you get a little description of each game, so... Yeah, there's that. Alright, so let's go ahead and start up Mario Brothers, or Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, yeah, this is the, uh, like, like you guys saw, selected the pixel-perfect ratio. Uh, but yeah, it looks, gotta say, it looks pretty nice. Looks pretty sharp. Yeah. I thought it was gonna look smooth, because I remember in, uh, like, for the Wii Virtual Console, like, the games look really, not smooth, I guess blurry? <laughs> yeah, it looked a little blurry. Oh, even on the Wii U as well, they look blurry too. But, uh, yeah, let's check out the suspend menu. So we gotta press ZL and ZR. So we get a couple of options here, uh, to continue the game. To load a uh, suspend point, or a save point, to make a save point, reset the game, and then to go back to uh, select a different game here, so. Oh yeah, and the user guide. I actually thought that was going to be the manual, but no, it's just this. So, um, yeah, those are the uh, controls. Something I found interesting, I haven't tried the online portion yet, but it says right here, move cursor with the right stick for, uh, press for applause during online play. So yeah. I guess you could clap along or, you know, cheer your friends to victory or applaud them or whatever. So I'll have to check that out. All right, but that's pretty much that. So, yeah, let's go back and I'll go ahead and play a quick little level here. All right, welcome to my Let's Play for Super Mario Bros. 3. No, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, eventually, I'll have to make one because, I mean, this game is great. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, there's no input delay. Like, I don't notice any delay. So it's... Yeah, like, one of the questions that I had when Nintendo did that Nintendo Direct showing off the online service was... Like, when I saw this, I was like, wait, so is this stream to your Switch? Or do you download the games to your Switch? Or what? They didn't really do a good job explaining that. Like, I didn't know what this was going to be like. Was this an app? Or is the the Wii, or I'm sorry, the Switch menu going to change with that new update? Or, or what? Well, there it is. It's an app. <laughs> yeah, it's an app, and... I guess the uh, the games are downloaded along with the app as well. Yeah, because it was like, um, 
Oh crap, I forgot the size of the, uh, of the, of the app. It's like 50 or 60 gigabytes, or not gigabytes, megabytes, I mean. Yeah, 60 gigs. <laughs> That'll be insane. But, um, but yeah, I guess the games are downloaded along with the app, so it's not like streamed or anything. But yeah, gotta say, it does look nice. It plays really good. There's no, like, input delay or anything like that, so... Yeah, that's not too bad. Alright. Let's see, I gotta get the P-Block, or the P-Switch. There we go. I think I remember that was there. <laughs> I was like, wait, I wasn't sure for a bit. I was like, is that the right one, or is it the blocks where the, uh, Koopa Troopa is standing on? Oh, there we go. Alright, this Let's Play is over. Alright, but yeah, eventually I gotta do a Let's Play for this game. Yeah. Well, there we go. But yeah, there's, uh, there's more games to choose from here, and, uh, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but Nintendo's planning on releasing more and more games as, uh, as time goes by. So, yeah, I guess you don't have to buy any NES games for this. They're all included. And as they add more, they'll show up here, I don't know, with an update or something. Okay, so now I'm going to be checking out the online portion of this app, so let's see how this goes. Alright, so yeah, it's going to be my first time, so I'm not sure how it's going to be, like, if it's going to be laggy or anything. Oh, I guess nobody's playing right now? Okay, well, I'm going to I'm gonna make a game right now. I got somebody that's going to join in, so let's see. Oh, actually, hold on a second. How to use voice chat. This is important. Mm, no. No thanks. Alright. Let's see, play while you wait. Oh, you can set a passcode too, okay. Well, I guess for this I'm not going to need a passcode. Okay, you can begin playing while you wait. You will be notified when a friend joins. Okie doke. Oh, let's see, I guess I'll pick a two-player game. Uh, oh, how about Tecmo Bowl? I love Tecmo Bowl. God, that game is awesome. It's too bad it doesn't have the NFL license. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That was fast. Okay, Obed has come to play. BD Cool 213 will control the menu. Connection strength may... Oh, thanks. I didn't get to read that. Oh, so that's what I was talking about. What the... <laughs> Alright, um, so I guess we can play. Let's see. I guess I'll pick LA. Alright. Pick a team, dude. Oh, wait. I gotta talk to my phone. Hold on a second. Um, pick a team. Over. Okay, here. I guess it's working. Alright, he picked Miami. All right, let's see. <laughs> He's gonna be moving that around. <laughs> Wait, how do you do the whistle? Wait, how did he do that? Kick, come on, waiting for you. <laughs> We're not talking to each other right now, by the way, so yeah, I don't have that app on my phone. Okay, it seems to be good. Yeah, like, there's no delay. Oh, crap. Oh, come on, no! <laughs> Ah, oh, man, alright. Uh, let's see, what should I go with? Uh, pass one. Yeah, I'll go with pass one. Damn, it's been a while since I played this. I don't even remember what what throw is in this game. Go, man! Wait. Oh, if you clap, you, well, you press the right stick to clap, and then if you press, press it again while clapping, you'll do a whistle. Come on, dude. I'm waiting for you. Pick a play. Oh, my God. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna text him. I'm gonna text him. Uh, it kind of sucks that we have to use that app on the phone. I mean, I wish they would allow uh, voice chat from the Switch itself. Because you can do that in Fortnite. You can actually, I guess if you plug in a headset to the uh, the uh, microphone port or audio port on the Switch, you can actually, you know, chat with people that way. You don't have to use that app. Alright, here we go. Alright, pass again. Oh, oh it was a Crap! Interception, no! Ha <laughs> ha damn it! <laughs> oh man, I actually forgot how to pass. Alright. Okay, you gotta figure it out. <laughs> okay, come on, come on, come on. We gotta, we gotta intercept. Yeah, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back! No! How do I switch characters? Oh, I only control one? I thought I could control multiple. Oh man, it's been so long. I can't believe he got an interception. He got lucky, too. I don't think he's ever played this game before, the guy that I'm playing with. Nice. What is a second down? Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah. You gotta clap for your little interception there. 
I could have sworn there was a way to switch. Oh, I got first down! Damn! Man. Yeah, man, so far so good. It doesn't seem to be laggy at all or anything. I could have swore there was a way to switch, like, characters. <laughs> Clappy, man. Alright. Nope. Ah, nice, there we go. What's this? Third down? Okay. Oh my god, he's gonna get a touchdown already? No, he's not gonna get a touchdown. Nope. Not if I allow it. Oh, he's gonna go for a punt. Damn it! Oh! Oh! Nice! Alright, cool. He didn't make it. <laughs> okay. I gotta get the touchdown. No! No! Come on! Ha <laughs> ha! Man! Alright, hold on a second. Let me try this again. Alright, here we go, here we go, baby, here we go! He could! Ah, oh, he can't go all the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for that, yeah. Alright, I gotta get first down. Nice! Oh! No! Dude, really? Damn! It's really different playing, uh, like an actual human player instead of a CPU. I should have had a touchdown by now! <laughs> oh! God! Oh, at least we got first down. Okay, good. 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 Damn, there's only 28 seconds, though. Right, it's coming back to me. Woo! Yeah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> no! No! Oh! <laughs> man! God, this game was great, man. I love this game back in the day. So awesome. Ah, uh, this brings back memories. No! Oh, I'm glad I didn't get the interception that time. Alright. Oh! Holy crap, what the- <laughs> Yo, I'm nervous, man. I, he got the interception in the first go, too. That's pretty crazy. Nice, nice, nice. Block me! Alright, we're almost there. Okay, let's see. Oh my god! Alright, I think he's getting the hang of this game. And so am I. <laughs> it's been a few years since I played this. Oh my god! No! I gotta get a touchdown! It's so close! Ah! Yeah! There we go, baby! Woo! Touchdown! Yeah! Oh, he's pissed. Look at him move. He doesn't even want to clap. <laughs> All right, try for a point. Oh, how do I do this again? Oh, nice! I got. I pressed the right button. Success! Can we get a golf clap? Is there any way to do any different claps? Or oh, I guess not. All right, let's go. Time's up. I right, just gotta tackle him here. Oh, where am I? Yo, I really thought there was a way to switch a character. I... I don't know. It sucks it doesn't... There's no, like, manuals or anything like that. You know, we can't... You know, we can't look up a manual, like, in the actual app itself. But hopefully, Nintendo will update that one day. You know, add the ability to put, like, manuals and stuff in there. Like, the actual original NES manuals. That would be pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like we can also, um... Yeah, we're still connected. I just quit the game, and it looks like we can still play... We're still connected, and we can switch to a different game, too. So, yeah, it just told me about an option for low latency mode. But it's fine. I'm not getting any lag or anything, even though he has three bars. But it's still... I guess he wants to play Mario 3. All right, we'll play Mario 3. Swap. Oh, yeah, we can swap player 1 and 2 from the suspend menu as well. Okay, you know what? I guess we'll play a little uh, two-player game here. That's pretty cool. We don't have to disconnect to uh, switch over to a different game. Oh, wait, how do we do the... Oh, I thought this was going to be the battle mode. Oh, whoops. 
Okay, you know what? Actually, I do feel a little bit of delay. Yeah, I do feel a bit of a delay. Just a tiny bit. Yeah. So maybe there was a delay in Tecmo Bowl as well, too. Even though, yeah, there is a bit of a delay. Eugh, jeez. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and die. I'm gonna die so I can let him play. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Alright, let's see. Let's see if this actually works. Okay, yep, that ain't me moving. That's him. That's him controlling Luigi. I wonder if he feels the lag, or maybe he just doesn't remember how bad, like how the uh, delay was in this game. Well, there was there wasn't any delay. Yeah. I wonder if he feels the delay though. Actually, you know what? After this, once he dies, I'm gonna really that time to clap. <laughs> Actually, once he dies, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna turn off that or turn on the low latency mode just to see how it is. Yeah, because I definitely did feel a little bit of a delay, just a tiny bit. But still, this is pretty cool. I gotta say, I mean, yeah, the fact that we're actually playing Super Mario Brothers three, uh, Super Mario Brothers three, two players, and he's not next to me. He's well, he lives in LA too. The guy that I'm playing with, oh, uh, he lives in LA, so. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Cause he's not he's not next to me. Yeah, he, I think he probably is feeling the delay as well. Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my hand over Luigi, over Green Mario. Ah, <laughs> good job, good job. <laughs> Ah, oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I know what he was trying to do. Well, he did the same thing that I did as well earlier, but... Yeah, I, I think he's really feeling the delay. Oh, oh! Oh, <laughs> uh, there's nothing up there, dude. Just darkness. Is he try he's gonna try to go for the star? I don't know if he thinks- he probably thinks there's something at the top. I don't know. Oh, he actually got a star, wow. Good job. Alright, let me try something, because we can actually suspend this- Oh, wait! Let me create a suspend point. I'm kind of curious to see if this will work online. I'm sure it probably will. But let me see something. I want to turn on that low- that low latency mode, just to see how it feels. Input delay will be reduced when playing games online. This may affect audio and visuals. Okay. Let's see how bad it looks. <laughs> uh doesn't look doesn't look too bad actually. It looks the same. Yeah, it still looks good. Wait, I didn't mess up and <laughs> hold on, did I? No, it's on. Yeah, it's still on. It looks the same. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's go to the suspend point. I'm sure this has got to work online, too. Okay, yeah. It does. Alright, so let's see how this feels now, now that I turn that on. Oh, god, yeah, it feels better. Honestly, I can't tell. It looks... It looks the same. Maybe there's a little bit of a... I don't know. The audio sounds the same. It looks the same. Yeah, it still looks pretty good. But yeah, there's definitely a less delay now, for sure. <laughs> it's definitely less delay. Actually, no delay at all now. All right, hold on a second. Let me try this. I'm gonna press left now, 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 now. Yeah, it's a lot better. No delay. But still, I'm not seeing any difference. Like as far as the graphics, like it still looks good. I guess. But yeah, it definitely does feel a lot better now. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks, yeah. It's gonna get the, uh, the leaf. There should be a star man over here, I think. Oh, right there! Oh, okay, he knows, he knows! <laughs> he knows! Yep. Thank you, thank you, thank you, yeah. I earned that star man. There we go. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad.
All right, so now I'm going to be checking out the uh, Famicom or the Family Computer Nintendo Switch Online app, which is the Japanese version of that app. All right, so here we go. And yeah, if you want to get that version of the app, all you need is a, uh, a Japanese account to be able to go into the Japanese eShop and download it. That account doesn't have to have the uh, Nintendo Switch Online service. You can go in with just a regular Japanese account to download the app. But in order for you to play it, you have to have an account that has the online service for it. So I actually I use my regular account. It's not even a Japanese account. And the one that has the uh, Switch Online service, and it actually worked. Started up, as you guys saw there. Now, the games are the same. It has the exact same games as the NES version, just in Japanese, of course. Except for one. And that's The Legend of Zelda right there. But this version is different. This is actually the Famicom Disk System version of this game. So there's going to be a few differences. So let's check it out here. And yeah, right off the bat, you can hear it. And you can see it too, like the letters and numbers. They're different. And the music is different. And obviously, it's in Japanese, of course. But yeah, this is the, the second time that I've played this game. Because the first time I played it was like a few minutes ago, you know, just to check it out real quick. But yeah, this is the Famicom Disk System version. Like, it sounds different. Well, some of the songs that I've heard so far, uh, like I played a little bit. I've only played up until uh, up until the end of the first dungeon or labyrinth. Yeah, only this song I've heard it's different. But there's a lot of different different sounds, you know, from what I've heard as I played through the game. Yeah, there's like different sounds, so I'm not sure if there's another song. I mean, there's not that many songs in this game. I mean, it's this one, the Labyrinth, Ganon's Labyrinth or Dungeon, the final Labyrinth. Um, when you get the Triforce. Yeah, and I guess when you die as well. Actually, I haven't died yet, so I'm not sure if that's different. Yeah, out of those songs that I've... Well, I mean, I've only heard the Labyrinth song and this one. Unfortunately, the Labyrinth, it's exactly the same like the NES. So that didn't change, but... There are going to be some sounds that are different, and you guys will hear them in a bit here. Alright, start this up. And yeah, there's actually a bit of loading, too, because it's from the Famicom... It's the Famicom Disk System version. Oh, it did save my game. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and delete that. Yeah. Well, actually, let's play Kill Mode. Yeah, this is the M-rated version of Zelda that we've all wanted. <laughs> now I'm just playing. I don't know why it's called Kill Mode, but yeah, that deletes your save file. And there you go. I guess it kills Link. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Oh, are we making a new save file already? Okay, I guess so. Uh, let's do that. I'm gonna call this Link. I don't want to call it Zelda because that's gonna start the second quest. I'm not too familiar with that quest. I'm more familiar with the uh, original quest. All right. And yeah, there is a bit of loading. Yep. Yeah, normally it would have started by now in the NES, but it's not much. All right. How do you find the sword? No, I'm just kidding. I know where it's at. <laughs> I wonder if there's actually been somebody that actually skipped this part and just gone up or left or right. There might be somebody that actually did that. I don't know, as a kid I always went into that cave. I was like, oh, what's in there? <laughs> and it's a sword. Oh! Listen to this. Yep. That's different. That's different compared to the NES. I don't know, I kind of like the NES one better, I guess. I mean, that's the one that I was mostly familiar with. Even in the uh, that Zelda cartoon as well, that's the same sound that it made, that the sword made whenever Link would shoot it, I guess. Well, excuse me, princess. Yeah, that cartoon. <laughs> ah, man, those were the days. But yeah, that's one, uh, one sound difference so far. I mean, the music sounds exactly the same like in the NES. It's still kind of cool that they actually chose this version for the... You know, for the Japanese version of the NES app, or, or I guess the Famicom app. We'll call it the Famicom app. Oh, nice. There you go. Oh, God. Alright. Uh, I just lost a heart, or half a heart. Oh, good. I was going to say, oh, we're, now we're not going to get any hearts. We got, like, fairies and hearts back there. Jeez. Well, one fairy, at least. Alright, here we go. Unfortunately, this song is still the same, but it's still, it's still a kick-ass song, though. But I was kind of hoping it would have sounded different. But yeah, it's exactly the same like a, like on the NES, too. I think one sound that changed was when we get an item. Let's see. I want to listen to it. Yeah, it sounds a little bit different. Yeah. I mean, it has been a few years since I played it. Maybe it, maybe it is the same, but I don't know. I, I swear it sounds different. 
A little bit. Oh yeah, and another sound that's different too is the doors when you open them. I'll just say this right now, I prefer how they sound on the NES. Because <laughs> they sound pretty weird in this version. Alright, there we go. Actually, I could have swore I had bombs by now. I guess I get those from, a, from an enemy. But alright, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like Yoshi. <laughs> Or something. I don't know. I feel like I've heard that sound before. This is that's like the aphid version of that sound. But uh, yeah, yeah. I gotta say, it does sound better on the NES version because it actually does sound like it's a door opening. Yeah. I think that sound might be a little bit different too, a little bit as well. When the fairy showed up. Yeah, but let me see. I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, that's right. The boss, the boss of the labyrinth is gonna sound a little bit different as well. Actually, I think it makes more sounds as well when you attack it too. Yeah. So you guys will listen, you guys will see and listen when, once we get to that point. Oh, jeez. I'm having a hard time moving here. Alright, there we go. I was gonna say, isn't there a wall we could blow up back there? God, it's been, it's been a few years since I played this. I think the last time I played this was when I did a playthrough of it. Yep, there's that sound again. Poor Yoshi. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, could that be... Ugh, God. Maybe I'm confusing that sound with something else other than Yoshi. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I prefer the NES sound better for that. Actually, isn't the old guy over here? Oh yeah, he's here. Yeah. What does he say in the NES? Eastmos Peninsula is a secret? I think that might have been a translation error. Alright. Later, guy. <laughs> he just starts attacking you when you do that. It's kind of weird that you can do that. I mean, you can't kill him or anything. So, yeah, I don't know what's the point. But he can kill you. Alright, there's a map. Hate these little gel things. Okay, actually, I want to go up here first for the, uh the item. Well, we gotta go through this section first. Yeah, none of these guys have given me bombs yet? Yeah, I remember in my first run I actually got a bomb. Well, actually, I got a bomb outside. Oh, what's going on here? Come on. Ah, still no bombs. Jeez. <laughs> that sound, man. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wait a minute. Alright, there we go. Oh! That's different as well. Yep, that sound too. Or it sounds different. Alright. And yeah, that one sounds the same. Yeah. Alright, so I guess now we'll head over to the boss now and take care of him. God, man, I, I kind of wish this song sounded different. Like, because I really love this song. And, th you know, it sucks that this song hasn't been remade that much in, like, later Zelda games. Like, it's been in some, but not that many. Yeah. This is, like, one of my favorite Zelda songs ever. And I remember it from Majora's Mask, uh... Uh, Link's Awakening D Deluxe from the Color Dungeon. Yeah, and that was like an extended version, too. Alright, we should get the boomerang here. Oh, yeah, good. Good. Yeah. I needed that at that point, yep. For those of you guys that don't know that, what that clock does, it stops all the enemies. Oh, here we go. Actually, let's defeat all these wall masters. So you guys can hear the little sound that the... Oh! Little sound that the boss is making. Yeah. It sounds pretty crazy on the NES, but... God, it's still freaky as hell. Kind of freaked me out as a kid, too. Yep. I don't think he... I don't think he does, like, a cry when you hit him. In the NES version, I mean. I'll have to check on that. But yep, there you go. Oh, and he, th then he does the Yoshi yell at the end. Yeah, right when he dies. Alright, and that's it.
All right, everyone, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, I got to say for the uh, Nintendo Switch Online service, um, I mean, the price wasn't too bad. I got the $20 for one year, so it's not too bad compared to, like, Xbox Live and PlayStation Network. Um, but, yeah, as far as the app goes, it's not too bad. You know, the online works if you turn on that low latency mode. I mean, there's a little bit of a delay. I felt it a lot, or not too... Well, I mean, I felt it a little bit with Super Mario Bros. 3. But if you turn on that low latency option, it actually... It seemed to work for me. And I talked to the other guy that I was playing with, and he said once I turned on that option, like, it got better. <laughs> yeah, because he was feeling the delay as well. Uh, but yeah, I gotta say that online feature is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's still pretty early. You know, it just came out. There's only 20 games. Uh, and Nintendo said they're going to be releasing more games as time goes by. I remember seeing a list of like upcoming releases for this app. I can't remember what's or when the next few games are coming. I know Ninja Gaiden is going to be one of them. That's one that, well, I want to play because I love that game. Uh, Ryu Hayabusa for Smash, by the way. Uh, but yeah, I, I know there's de there's definitely more games coming. Um, I just hope it's a lot more than the list that I saw because there weren't that many for the rest of the year. I just hope they're uh, still trying to figure out what games they're going to add. But, you know, I got to say it's pretty cool that, you know, we can play these NES games online and people can spectate you as well. That's pretty awesome, too. I was kind of wondering when I saw that clapping option, I was like, clapping? <laughs> All right. But, yeah, uh, you can get somebody else to watch you play and, you know, kick ass or suck at these games. But, <laughs> but yeah, got to say that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. But, all right, guys, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, take it easy, everyone.